followers I was going to discuss. Right. We are here for Summer of Wars 5 news. Oh, yes. So, the live stream of Summer of Wars 5 has just ended, and I'm here to give you guys my opinions and thoughts, you know, reaction about uh, what I just uh, announced. About Carters, especially. Right. What we got? We got a new brand Carters. Two new brand Carters so far. Toshimitsu Saito, he's a very loyal retainer of Akechi Mitsuhide. He joins around uh, uh, 1570 during that time. Uh, now, the precise year, I don't know, but he joins around that time. And Nobunaga gets really mad when Toshimitsu Saito uh, decides to serve Mitsuhide and not Nobunaga. So, you can see how close is Toshimitsu to Mitsuhide. This really gives Mitsuhide a very good background story. Now, we are always seeing Akechi Mitsuhide basically on his own. In Samurai Wars 1, uh, you guys remember, if you guys play Samurai Wars 1, uh, we saw Akechi Mitsuhide very close to Ramaru because they wanted Mitsuhide, you know, to interact with somebody. In Samurai Wars 1, we saw him with Ramaru. Then in Samurai Wars uh, 3, uh, we saw him with Motochika, especially Motochika Chusukabe. Uh, why they are close? Well, okay, why they're close? Well, basically, uh, Toshimitsu Saito had a, uh, had a sister. Toshimitsu Saito's sister was married to uh, Motochika Chosukabe. This is how they ended up close, Mitsuhide and Chosukabe Motochika. So, but besides that, I guess you guys want to hear more, right? Who is this red hair girl? Apparently, she's Nobunaga's uh, daughter. She's called uh, Mits Mitsuki. So, a very brand new Carter. Okay, I know she's probably, like, just uh, there to, you know, be, be the Kunoichi. The new Kunoichi, basically. Because now, the story is not focused anymore on the Sanada. It's not focused anymore uh, on different factions. No, it's entirely fa focused on the Oda. The early era of the Oda. This is why we got a brand new uh, young youngling Nobunaga and Akechi Mitsuhide. Still, uh, we got no news of the Heijin system for this live stream, but apparently there will be regular live stream every month. One uh, live stream every month. Release date will be 24 of June in Japan. Uh, still no confirm about the Western release. And I'm not even sure if the Western release will be 24 of June, but I doubt. However, let's just stay tuned for more informations to come. All right, let's have a look uh, at... Okay, we got Nohime here, which she's called Kicho. Kicho is like her real name. Uh, Nohime is just a title that she got given later on. And yes, I think she's supposed to be called Kicho uh, in, the early, in the early days. As far as you guys saw, this is her, uh, they also showed a gameplay of her as well. Very Nohimis, well, not sure about, about him, but very Hina, Hina style. She really indeed look like Hina from, <laughs> from that Musou. Like really, you cannot not see Hina. Some Hina's moves are important to Nohime, apparently. However, I think this is all due to the fact that the Delpers of the game are all young people. This is what at least uh, uh, they've stated. So I really have no doubt that they got inspiration from the older games because apparently, yes, they uh, revi revised the, the older Summer of Wars games and, you know, got inspiration to uh, make this new one. And wow, let's have a look at Shibara Katsuhie. <laughs> like, those curly hair, I'm not really the biggest fan of this curly hair. However, uh, Shibara Katsuhie really has a, a more young look. Uh, uh, the spice is, you know, samurai warriors uh, form. So it is, it is indeed uh, really, what can I say? Let's, let's have a look. Let, let, let's try to compare. I don't know. Let's try to make some, some, some comparison between uh, uh, these two. Like, okay. Young Katsuhie. Old man Grumpy Shibata. <laughs> they're, 
There we go. What do you think? Well, the hair eyebrows indeed uh, is those eyebrows off of don't fucking piss me off uh, or I'm really gonna kick your ass. And this is like, oh, why do I, why do I even have to go in battle? I just wanna relax in bed. That's the vibes he gives me, this Katsuya. However, the spear, the damn fucking spear. Finally, Shibata Katsuya managed to add a spear. Okay, I'm a big fan of the two axes, really. I'm, I love the, the twin axes of oh, Shibata. And I'm not in, I'm not in against this weapon. I, I really don't. One of my favorite weapons ever, the, the twin axes of Shibata Katsuya. Like, look how badass they are. Look how well detailed, look at the blade, very sharp, the design, like it's just the perfect axe. If you're a fan of uh, of, uh, of the axe weapon, then you, you understand what I mean. You look at this badass, pissed off face, and you get it like... <laughs> so, yeah, we get it. Katsu here, here does have a more young look, a more relaxed look, but we will see, we will see in the game if he's exactly this relaxed. Next character, let's have a look to the next character. Oh! Well, I don't know how many of you guys will be uh, surprised about this, but yes, we got young Tokugawa Ieyasu wielding uh, two blades. He, he matched the fights with with two blades. Like, uh, how can he? It's just a kid. He must be very talented. You need to fight with two blades. Like he's like Musashi Miyamoto Musashi. Really, he must really be a, a well talented kid, he asked, at a, such a young age to fight with two with dual blades. Uh, well, alright, fair enough. The haircut, very Naotora style, may I say. And Hideyoshi. Okay, we got young Hideyoshi final with a Naginata. Um, I think uh, a Naginata, it, it kind of suits for Hideyoshi. You know, Naginata is is very well known uh, to be a very easy uh, an easy weapon to wield, especially for women. But it's not that. It's just because Naginata is in fact uh, extremely easy to wield. Like more easy to it's more easy to master than a katana or a spear than Naginata. So Hideyoshi seems like to pick the easy way. Like he seems to be sly and very smart. So it's probably wise wielding a Naginata. A male with a Naginata as well, uh, we've, no re we've not really seen him like many, unless we customize our own character in the previous game and we give him a Naginata. We make a male with a Naginata. But I'm not pretty sure there's going to be a character customization in this game. I, I don't think it will there will be. Also, I like how he literally rubs his, his nose exactly like he does in uh, Neo 2. If people when people if few people played uh Neo 2, you should uh, know that Hideyoshi you should, you've could probably seen it many times, uh, rubbing his nose like this. He does it very often, like, like this. He does it often in Neo 2, and he does it in Summer Wars 5 as well. So I have no doubt they also took inspiration from Neo 2. Well, not with a hard style, but they actually got few ideas, I guess. Okay, Satoshi Shimitsu and uh, keep forgetting the, 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 the name of this girl, Mitsuki, Mitsuki, okay, oh, 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 we also got, we also got a new redesigned Imagawa Yoshimoto. Why do I think? Let's watch it, let's watch this trailer first of Imagawa Yoshimoto and I'll let you know guys my opinion about Imagawa Yoshimoto. ゲロ。
In fact, uh, Imagawa Shimoto, <laughs> he wields a hammer, a fucking hammer. Okay. You guys no, might not be surprised about the armor. You guys uh, might probably be like, Oh my god, what they've done to him? Why does he look serious? Why does he look badass? Why does he look so strong? Why does he look lubu big? What the... God, okay, calm down a second. So let me explain this. Let me explain why Yoshimoto looks like that. So, Imagawa Yoshimoto was a daimyo. No shit. But it was not just a normal daimyo. Imagawa Yoshimoto controlled... Uh, the province of Suruga and not just that so he was one probably the strongest daimyo one of the strongest daimyo during the early eras he, like even Shingen Takeda and uh, Kenshin Uesugi could not compare to, uh, to him and not because he's, he's, he was smart he's just because he had more territory more power more subordinate more subordinates he was extremely strong Imagawa Yoshimoto he was one of the most powerful daimyo during that time, and Nobunaga could not stand to him. Nobunaga risked to die. Now, many saw Nobunaga uh, killing so easily Yoshimoto and Hokeyazama many times in any battle. Like, I dare you, uh, I dare you to find a battle where Nobunaga struggles with Yoshimoto. I dare you, I dare you. Like, you will not see a battle where Nobunaga struggles with Yoshimoto. In the previous games, unless you play Chroni Chronicles uh, 3, where there's indeed the path with uh, Imagawa Yoshimoto, where you can win. You can literally, like, uh, join Imagawa Yoshimoto in Samara Wars Chronicles 3 and make him win, and make him, you know, make him win, make him the ruler of everything. So, but we always saw uh, the side where Nobunaga always managed to kick Yoshimoto Imagawa's ass, and now it's the opposite. So, it's Sort of like it should be because, like I said, Nobunaga really couldn't stand to Imagawa Yoshimoto. He he had a very hard time. Many subordinates of Nobun uh, Nobunaga, my lord. What are you? What are you thinking? What are you, what are you saying? We should just give up. We should surrender. What we are going to die, but Nobunaga really he is one of a man of a kind. He managed to to do the impossible, killing Imagawa Yoshimoto. He managed to do the impossible, so this is why it feels crazy, really. It feels crazy that Nobunaga managed to kill Yoshimoto. But besides Evin Amri, he seems like he can wield a katana too. Yoshimoto apparently was known for being the strongest archers of Suruga. Okay, he doesn't seem to wield an archer, and I don't know if they're going to make him wield one, but we'll see. Right, uh, 27 uh, playable characters. We we get him. We get him 27. Yep. So far, these are the one who got announced. Uh, there's more. I can see this is the Shogun. Yeah, it most probably is going to be Ashikaga Yoshiteru, the Shogun. I'm pretty sure this one is the Shogun. Yep. Either, you, either Yoshiaki or Yoshiteru. Most probably Yoshiteru, Ashikaga. This is Shingen Takeda, you can tell by uh, the horns here. Other cart as well, it's very hard to tell. Who are the other characters? But I think this is Kenshin. I, I suppose this guy's Kenshin. Can see the very. Um, if, it's a very religious haircut, this one. So this one must be Kenshin. Uesugi Kenshin, yeah, even because he's next, like next to Shingen, so you suppose it's Kenshin. We also, uh, hold on, we also spotted a wild, a wild Tarakatsu Honda. I managed to spot. <laughs> yeah, this is next to Yeyasu. As you can see, the horns take the pearls. They do not. As you can see, the pearls, the Tombogiri, the infamous Tombogiri. So. If it's not Tarakatsu, don't, I mean, you guys, please, don't, don't dare to do have theories. Oh, no, this guy is that. Is Yasumasu Sakaki Bashet? No, this is that. Is it? Please, don't. 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 I'm begging you. Don't. I know you want to try to look smart. You want to try to look, oh, look, I'm, I know this. I know this. No, it's Tarakatsu. End of story. You can tell. The, the pearls betray him more than in Tomogiri because he, Tarakatsu was famous to... To be to as it was a famous uh, religious person, Tarakatsu, like uh, always go hanging out with the pearls, a necklace of pearls he always had in his hand, in his neck. 
Tarakas was famous for that, not just for Tombogiri. So please. But but I can see here another officer here. That, that might be another officer. Yeah, yeah. Or an NPC. More like he looks like more an NPC to me, but you never know. You never Wait, what? Okay, I just noticed now this is oh I just noticed and I just noticed Anzo now. <laughs> I just noticed that <laughs> I noticed him just now. I swear I have not noticed this before. If it wasn't for me recording this video, I will never know I will never spot a Hanzo. We we got Anzo with a f uh he looks like a fox, very foxy mask. You can you can't see his face at all, like at all. Probably because of this mask here. Uh, looks like a fox to me or a wolf. Oh my god! A, na a wild Anzo and Tarkatsu have been spotted. Yeah, those are NPCs. All NPCs here. So yeah, Anzo and uh, <laughs> Tarkatsu spotted. Okay. <laughs> my god. <laughs> I had to like inform the Discord. <laughs> oh my god, Anzo spotted. L O L. Right, fellow words. So, and I guess this is everything for now. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks again for following me this far on this video. I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed. And I hope you consider me becoming a member of my channel to support me any further. For those who don't know, I'm doing a Dynasty Warriors 3 Let's Play on my channel, 100% Dynasty Warriors 3. So maybe make sure you check that out. And thanks again, followers. I'll catch you guys soon to the next video. Also, subscribe to my girlfriend, Pete Obsessive. Stay tuned and take care.